In this video, we'll look at how to create a dynamic lightbox in Bricks, containing dynamic data from posts inside of a loop. We have a post type named listings. Each post has a few custom fields with some additional data, price, and a short description. To display the posts, we'll set up a query loop on the container element and set the query to our listings post type. We want to display all six. We'll add in the featured images. Let's make the image element a link to make sure it's clickable. And we'll give it a class. More info listings. Now we have the link inside the loop, we can add our lightbox element. By default, it'll appear as an empty container. Make sure nest elements is set as the content, and then we can add in our elements. We already added a class, more info listings, so let's use that for the link selector. Now clicking on the links with that class will open up the light box. Let's add some dynamic data. We can now see the data from each post. Now let's style and configure the lightbox. When styling lightboxes, we must always use classes, not IDs. Let's reduce the width and change the backdrop color. We can also add grouping, allowing the user to navigate between posts while the lightbox is still open.
either by clicking the arrows or using keyboard navigation. We can change the slide effect to a simple fade. Let's style the UI to match the site better. The margin controls how far the elements are away from the edge of the viewport. We can do the same for the arrows. Let's look at the animation. By default, the starting position is a translate Y of 10%, meaning the lightbox slides up 10% from the bottom. To make it slide down from the top, we can add a negative value. We can also change the scale. When styling any elements inside of the lightbox, we must also use classes. And there we have our dynamic light box.